Managing your deposits and refunds from the LAWBOO control panel is super simple. There is only one setting for this feature. It is located in the Advanced Location Settings. The setting is called Access Level Required for Deposit and Refund Functions. It allows you to control which of your staff members can accept and refund deposits. In addition to this setting, there are three version 2 reports that have deposit and refund information. The first is customer deposits. This report shows all deposits and refunds for the selected time period. The bold number at the bottom of the amount column is the net deposit for the time period and is equal to your total deposits minus your total refunds. Please note that in the case that you accept and refund a deposit in the same day, the amount reflected in the individual row will be equal to the deposit amount minus the refund amount. The next report with deposit information is the General Ledger Report. This report contains a line item that accounts for the net amount calculated in the Customer Deposits Report. The final report that contains information on Customer Deposits is the Version 2 End of Day Report. This report shows a snapshot of the deposits and refunds for the time period selected. This amount is not added to your expected take-in totals.